E3 here with a daily update and E3 affirmation. So it's kind of an interesting video to be making, but there's a lot of pain right now. And a lot of joy too. <laughs> I mean, part of what I'm being called to do is um, be authentic as best as I can. Um, so for me, that means uh, acknowledging both realms, the extreme pain, the challenges, the fear, the human limitations, the karma, the um, who I used to be. But also uh, acknowledging the joy, the, the beauty, the dreams in my heart, the love that I feel all the time, even if there's pain or challenges. So one of my biggest escape routine patterns for many, many years was... Um, well, there, there are many aspects of my personal escape routine, but one of the aspects was uh, an unhealthy perfectionism. So the voice of I'm not good enough, it's not good enough, I'm not ready yet, there's not enough time. Uh, it has to be a certain way until I can share and give and receive and experience love. So one of my practices um, well, for many, well, not, well, a few years, like, it was a process, you know, it didn't happen overnight, but the practice of feeling the love now, um, just as I am, and not bypassing the physical pain and sensations, but also not bypassing the love that is here now, and because another one of my old patterns with suppressing the love that I felt, suppressing the creativity. So what I've been doing for the past year, past 13 months since I was diagnosed with glioblastoma, discovered I had the tumor, and then uh, had all these surgeries, radiation, chemo, pain, seizures, head infections, more surgeries. Um more pain, <laughs> more beauty, more miracles. I've been trying to follow what I call my unique vibration, the dreams in my heart, even as I acknowledge whew, the fear, the pain, the challenges inside of my life, and then let alone <laughs> the external world. So that's, that's probably my main practice, what I'm trying to do. Um, so right now there's so much to share but I just want to keep this video simple just a quick update and uh, a quick prayer that my it's my pain <laughs> I'm trying not to be selfish and identify with the pain because it's you know the pain is temporary by the way, what is pain? Pain is just fear leaving the body. <laughs> so you could write that on a shirt and go to the gym and work out. Um, so that the pain can be transmuted into love and joy and creativity. And duh, it's so much harder than just saying it. But... You know, to practice. That's what I'm trying to practice. I've been doing lots of deep cleansing practices since I've been out of the hospital. Um, I had surgery on my head on September 10th, another head surgery on September 11th. Then I was in the hospital on antibiotics until October 22nd. So there was so much inflammation that built up so much 
which understandably, well, because of how the system is, I couldn't do deep cleansing practices in the hospital. So I've been doing them since I've been out of the hospital on October 22nd. And it's helping. Um, but it's, you know, it's helping, but it's painful and uncomfortable. And then there are moments of feeling better. So I'm just trying to stay present in the process. Right now I've been, well, right now I'm doing a coffee enema. I've been doing pretty um, deep cleansing practices. And trying to balance out like humbleness and patience and gentleness, but also, like, you could say, fighting for my life every single day, every single moment, um, and without forcing it. Because if I force it, I could hurt myself. Um, so, it's a beautiful practice. Like, for example... Um, I mean, there's so many examples, but even just rebuilding the body, if I push it too far, that could aggravate a seizure or it could just be extremely painful. If I cleanse too fast, that could be dangerous. So this requires humility, intelligence, whew, and more strength than I can imagine. Of course, so many people are going through so many things so much worse than I am. So I'm trying to be humble and do my best so this way my life can bring beauty and good things for other people. That would make me really, really happy. <laughs> um, so with that being said, how about a quick yet mm, powerful E3 affirmation. So with everything I just said... I'm letting all of that go for this moment. I'm moving into the affirmation that my teacher, shaman, guide, and ally, and great friend gave me. He gave me the name E3 when I requested a new name in Hawaii in a plant medicine ceremony. And he gave me the name E3, which means embodied, empowered, and ecstatic. Because he knew he he didn't tell me this, but he knew what was going to happen. He knew that I was going to have the minor stroke and the surgery and all this stuff and the brain cancer. Um, so that's why he gave me that name, which eventually became an affirmation that I repeated in my consciousness. And eventually I'm starting to share it with other people. The affirmation, I am embodied, I am empowered, and I am ecstatic, just as I am. <sighs> he gave me that affirmation. And it's helped me immensely. So thank you, Om, for your love and your support and your blessings in my heart, in my life. And I'm praying that I can heal and see you again. Well, I'm with you right now in this moment. But, you know, physically, it's fun to see you too. So with that being said... Three rounds of the E3 affirmation. Just as we are, just as I am, I am embodied. I am empowered. I am ecstatic. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am ecstatic. One more round, if you'd like to join. I am embodied. I am empowered. I am <laughs> ecstatic, just as I am. And may you be as well. E3 here, from the middle, left, right, up, down, inside, outside of my heart, wishing you well.